the second COVID shot for Pfizer. Um, as you can see, I'm standing, I'm walking around, I'm actually moving now a lot more than I was yesterday morning, which is a good thing. Um, my attire, on, on the other hand, is something that could improve. However, it's, com it's comfortable, it's cozy, and it, you know, it keeps me dry. But anyways, <clears throat> so, so today I don't have the full body ache and chills like I had yesterday. Uh, today it's all in the back, lower back, and uh, to some degree, lower back pain it was expected, uh, just not this intense. So, a few people at work uh, that I work with that received both shots, they said that whatever body aches you have, the shot will enhance it, meaning it will make it worse. And so I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened. Um, whether or not that's okay, I don't know. I guess time, <laughs> time will tell. Uh, and, and I'll be sure to let you all know, as time moves on, if I begin experiencing any abnormal symptoms. But I, I don't want to, <clears throat> I don't want to focus, I don't want every video that I make to focus on COVID and, and the pandemic and, and all of that. I just basically want to um, share my experience with you with this pandemic and, and catching it and then getting back, so to speak, um, <clears throat> and kind of bringing some reality to the situation that, you know, a lot of the uh, people out there in the media don't do, uh, and a lot of people in our society don't do, in our schools and, and where we work. Uh, people aren't, aren't real with this stuff <clears throat> at, at, at the level that they should be. Um, you know, if, we're, if, if something doesn't seem right, to someone and that person asks questions they should be able to ask questions without being ridiculed all right they should be able to um, question something if it doesn't seem right and or if it if it's just apparently obvious that it's not passing the smell test someone should have the right to question that without any repercussions or being bullied so so my my whole point is showing you all one person's perspective uh, during this pandemic and how I'm dealing with it. <clears throat> oh, by the way, in addition to the back pain, I'm still having a lot of post-nasal trip right now. Uh, but the headaches are gone. Uh, and I'm going to, in a second here, go pop some Motrin and, uh, and, and see how that how that helps me out for the rest of the day, and, and I'll, uh, I'll keep you all updated on my status, but um, from this point on, I just want to focus on other, other things in my life with the, you know, in regards to making these videos, and just bringing you all along on my journey, so um, I don't want people commenting on my videos and bashing me for, you know, being uh, pro-anti-vax or anything like that, even though I'm vaccinated, so that wouldn't make much sense anymore, now would it? You know, that, that's funny, that brings up a, another uh, interesting uh, point. It's like, I, I, people that I've known that were against the vax, <clears throat> it's like after they get the vaccine, they just shut up about it, and they don't even talk about it anymore. Um, I'm not that kind of person, so and I'm not anti-vax either. So it's, it's, it, I think it's interesting too how just because you don't want to get one certain type of shot, you're you're all of a sudden an anti-vaxer when you get a multitude of other shots without any issues. But uh, but my stance still stays the same, even though I have gotten two doses already. Uh, and I think you all know by now what my opinion is in regards to getting a booster or the third dose or however many boosters we're going to supposedly have th uh, thrown at us here in the near future. 
Um, I'm not for that. A hundred percent. I have my my uh, doubts about it. Um, I have my questions about it, and we'll just leave it at that for now.